Hi y'all. First I want to start off with a happy Mother's Day to all the moms and fur moms out there today. Today I want to just sit down and have a little chit chat. I see a lot of these posts for prepping that videos that say organic, organic, organic. Okay, I'm on a limited income and we cannot afford organic. They say it's better for you, it tastes better. Eating healthy is what's better for you. It doesn't have to be organic. Um, yes, I know I'm big, but you know, I'm working on it and I'm changing my eating habits, but that's beside the point. Also, you've got to watch when you buy things that it's things you're going to use, not things that everybody else says you need to get. You need to watch what you can and cannot have. I personally have not bought any of the prepackaged meals that are for the 25 life, 25, yeah, 25 year life shelf life. I don't know what the ingredients are in them and I have allergies. So I'm going to sit here and say, Hey, I'm not buying them because I don't want to have an allergic reaction on top of not being able to have the food I can have. So I am stocking up on my own. As you've seen, I have flour, sugar, powdered sugar. I have meat. I have several different things in my freezer to eat, vegetables, fruit. And I've experimented with freezing my own potatoes. I just cut them up and froze them. I found out don't cook them when they're thawed. Don't thaw them before you cook. Cook them when they're frozen. They'll stay fresher and they're better. I also have fruit in my freezer. I can make apple butter. I can make apple preserves, strawberry preserves, whatever. I have a bunch of fruit and bananas. I freeze bananas so I can bake with bananas. I have stocked up on pancake mix. I think everybody pretty much has a pancake mix they like. And whether you make it or you buy it, stock up on it. Kids love it. Adults do too. Make sure you have your syrup. Syrup usually lasts a long time. I stocked up. Some people go and spend $100 a week at the grocery store. I don't have a big family. It's just me and my husband, but we have dogs. I spend, I have a limit. I can't say I spend because I blew it this month, but I have a limit of $200 a month for groceries. And I spend $200 on the dogs. Yep. Because we have some seniors that need wee pads and all that. So, yeah, I do spend a little more or as much on them. Now, when I buy the food that I buy, I'm like, okay, I want what's cheapest. I'm going to look around. I'm going to price around. All the meat I buy is on clearance. <laughs> I can vacuum seal it and keep it for a long time. You can do that too. Vacuum seal, buy your meat on clearance. I can't afford to buy a whole cow or half a cow or quarter of a cow. That's a lot of money for one person at one time. Most people don't have the three to $400 for a, four, a quarter of a cow. Besides that, I don't know if I would eat all of that. Honestly, I'm pretty picky on what I eat. We do have certain meats, but, <coughs> excuse me, they're not all perfect. They're steaks and hamburger and chicken and once in a while fish. <coughs> excuse me, but not very often. You'll have to excuse me. It's springtime in Nebraska and the pollen is crazy. So <laughs> my coughing is having to do with my allergies. But I wanted to take time and just talk to y'all. Yes, prices are going up on everything. So price match. Sometimes if you look, you can get a better deal at Dollar Tree or Family Dollar if you 
check or Dollar General, whatever, check your prices. Check your prices and digital coupons if you have them. I search four different stores every month to find the best deals and figure out where I can get the most groceries for the less money. That may say, sound crazy, but you do what you got to do and be able to stock up. <coughs> so here's my feedback. Prices are going up. I don't see them slowing down for a while. Everything is going up. Gas, everything. The diesel, I seen yesterday. I was went to see my mom in another town an hour away. And I seen coming back that diesel is $5.50 a gallon. Now, I remember when diesel was cheaper than fuel. That was not that long ago but it's up higher so trucks are having to charge more companies are charging more companies some the people that are buying are paying more so their prices are going to go up it's just checks and balances just like always so as long as we don't go into where we have to have bread lines and stuff like that we're good and as long as you've got food for at least three months, you're good. I stock up for tornadoes, floods, and winter storms. We have all that here. Just a couple years ago, we had 100 mile an hour winds, straight winds that wiped out power. I have enough lanterns to light up my house with no problem. And I've also come up with an idea that Hey, if power goes out and it's out for a while, or they take a power grid down, something, whatever. I have a gas grill. I have a charcoal grill. And I have candles. I'm a city girl. But I figured out, hmm, you can cook with candles. It may take a while, but you will be able to. Not a problem. Grills, if you've got a gas grill or even a charcoal grill, make sure you got charcoal stocked up. Put it in a bag so it doesn't get all moist and humid. Keep it dried out. Keep it in a cool, dry place like you do your foods, anything you want to store. That way, you have charcoal. Make sure you have matches or lighters so you can set light said charcoal. I have lighters. I don't have any matches. Personally, I'm terrified of matches. <laughs> That's coming from an ex-smoker. That's pretty good. I'm afraid they're going to light no matter what. If you hit them the wrong way, they'll spark and light and set on fire. So, strange, I know. But I would prefer having lighters, and I do. I have lighters all over the house. So, know that you can be prepared. You can do it reasonably. You just have to take a little time, and it's not that long. I look at the grocery stores online. A lot of times you get the ads online a day early. So take a day early or take a day or a couple hours and look through your ads, see what you can find. Don't buy or organic unless you actually eat organic food. I don't. I don't want to pay the extra prices. I would rather just have regular old food processed, whatever. But it doesn't matter to me. It may to you. I can't see spending a ton of money that you're not going to use. I go to Sam's Club maybe once every six months, maybe three months, depending on what we need. So I buy my husband's breakfast supplies there. You know, the bars, the cereal bars, the Pop-Tarts, stuff that he likes for breakfast. <clears throat> I'd rather eat eggs, which I do. I make my own egg burritos and freeze them. So, you know, you can do a lot of things on your own and have supplies made up of your own. I also, a couple weeks ago, found a dozen and a half eggs on sale in my town for $1.47 each. A dozen and a half. That is a miracle right now. I grabbed 
three or four dozen, four containers of them. So I have mm, six to 12 dozen eggs and I froze some of them. They are not perfect, but I froze them. I put them in my ice cube trays like I learned. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Just use an ice cube tray. I learned to put the yolk on one side and the white on the other, because that way <laughs> they fit and they don't overflow. So that's my advice for today. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.